Welcome back everyone to another adventure. I'm standing here on the bank of a creek that's less than a half mile from my house. I have a bike along with me today and this is an adventure I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm biking however far it takes within a biking radius of my house to catch whatever's in my path. The bike is cool, number one, because it gives you good exercise. Number two, a lot of these spots are completely inaccessible without a bike. I couldn't park a car here and there are a lot of places that kind of go under everyone's radar because they're hard to get to. So. This is gonna be an adventure where I fish so many different places. It's really gonna be spot hopping at its finest. What the heck? Oh my God, I had a fish on my first cast. The spinner was falling into the creek and I had a fish. I was not prepared for that, I'm sorry. This time of year though, the bass do run up the creeks pretty good. So I could be faced with some nice largemouth that have kind of migrated up this way. Redemption. Got him, fish on. Oh my God, that's, that's a big fish. Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> off the side of the road. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of what I'm saying by explore these waters. This is definitely one heck of a way to get this send started. This is a five minute bike ride from my house. Local waters that I used to fish as a kid, biking to them. And now I'm back here, I have a car, I have everything I could get to place on the other side of the country and I'm still fishing these places. That's just saying something. Your local waters might just be the most important things to you. The rooster tail did me pretty well. This is a trout lure. Although I gotta say, I catch monster bass on bigger rooster tails, this thing's tiny. So I'm gonna go in the tackle box. Actually, what I had tied on before I even started the bike ride was a Ned rig. A little log jam over here. Some fallen timber. I should have a bass stacked in it. Got him, got him. Another fish right there in the log jam. <laughs> Get out of here, I thought I was snagged. Cause on the ultra you can barely feel a bite. And I was thinking to myself, what's gonna happen when I have to hook set a fish on the Ned? Well, that, that's what's gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna boat flip this guy close to three pounder. Oh. This is spot number one. When I was coming out on this trip, I was like, what do, what do I expect? Sun's coming out, it's getting beautiful outside. Bass are munching. This is a pretty crazy start. I was expecting something, that's why I stopped here, but I wasn't anticipating this. I thought the action was gonna heat up further into the adventure, but thank you, spot number one. You're good to me. Let's keep going. You can say this is probably the sketchiest part of the adventure. I'm gonna bomb some casts down here. See if I can just catch a fish out of this pond. Got him. Fish on. Yeah! Bluegill. Look at the purple coloration on this fish. That's one of the most beautiful sunfish I've ever seen. All right, I'm on to the next spot. Prime example number two, why I'm taking the bike to these spots. A lot of times this is what these spots are like. Literally right next to a busy road lies a majestic trout creek. This is where we hopefully knock off a couple more species of fish on the list. Got him, fish on, fish on. Little teeny tiny wild brown. I love to see when these creeks remain so untouched despite the fact that they're right on the side of a super busy road. I'm gonna do some adventuring up this stream to try to find the native brook trout. The adventure gets crazy. First steps in the creek. I'm not turning back now. Is that a brookie? Oh, it's a brookie. It's a brookie. Yes. Oh, no. He got off right there. Not for bike. So I've been cruising through beautiful farm country for a while. It's just a really amazing area back here. And right now I probably have 30 more minutes to fish. So I looked at Google Maps. I got a couple of distinct spots on my radar so I'm not wasting my time fishing areas. It'll take too long. Um, right now I'm just working with what I have on the adventure. And there were a couple moments where I was getting a little bit discouraged. A couple change of plans, but that's something that can never get in the way of the scent. So it's windy. 
and I'm continuing biking down. This road is bringing back some memories of a snow fishing adventure that I took over the winter. Uh, was it? Yeah, last winter. I accidentally came down this road and I was like, oh, there's a massive hill. This is it. This is the hill. So there's a little obscure creek right off the side of the road here. As I was biking past it and I know that there's a lake down this way, but I never really thought to focus on the creek. It looks fire in here. I actually scratched that idea. I came up to the mouth of the river here. It's inches of water. These bass would have to be like salmon to be running up the creek. That's just kind of what you learn from coming back to spots like this sometimes. You roll the dice and a lot of times it really does work out and you find a lot of fish. Other times you find something like that and it's all part of it. All part of the adventure, all part of the scent. So on to the final spots of the day. All right, back to the bike. Simply park the bike, switch lures. Here's the next spot, fishing. I got 10 minutes of fish. This is the spot I just came up to. Fish on. Let's go. Oh, big rainbow. Another rainbow. Let's go. All right, so today's adventure panned out a little bit differently than expected. A couple of turns in the road led me to exploring water that I wasn't actually planning on fishing. And I had to cut the trip a little early. And that's a challenge I face on a lot of these trips because usually I have an idea what's gonna happen from start to finish. And I have a picture painted in my head, but it's not until I come out here that truly I'm able to figure out what's gonna happen. And there were a couple times on this adventure where I was getting discouraged. Made a little detour to this river and I was able to end off with a lot of fish catches. I just wanna say thank you for tuning into this one. And until next time, keep on getting out there, keep on promoting the positivity of fishing and keep on sending it no matter what, no matter where you are, the adventure might take some turns, but make the most of it. And as long as you come out of it with a smile on your face, that's all that matters. Skylight.